so my partner, or the negative brought up how I mentioned, <laughs> mentioned some information that might not be relevant anymore. Um, the article that that information was published in, granted the studies are from you know, almost 50, 60 years ago, but the, the article that I got that from was published in 2007, and I think any self-respecting scientist isn't going to publish anything that they fear might be um, dismissed as easily as that. Um, as for bringing up uh, more relevant information, uh, John Kilpatrick in 2015 in Animal Operations and Residential Property Values quotes, first, AOs have a substantial indirect negative economic impact on surrounding communities, including property values in those communities, via shifts in sources of purchases and other inputs in the factors of production. An early study by Chisholm and Levins reports that smaller farms make nearly 95% of their expenditures locally, while, <coughs> while large operations spend less than 20% locally. This is reinforcing the fact that having smaller, uh, having smaller, more manageable farms improves the economy of the community it's in, whereas larger operations don't really give back. Um, my, the negative keeps on bringing up how um, smaller farms aren't going to be able to supply the demand that's so needed in uh, in our in our modern day society. But I want to bring up how low cost of goods isn't isn't a greater value than we have on, than the value of human life. Um, in an article by Colby, Won't You Be My Neighbor, it stated that a, signi um, a significant decrease was found in the prevalence of physician diagnosed asthma among students in the two school study. In the study school located near CAFO, the asthma prevalence the asthma prevalence was quite high, 19.7 percent approaching the approaching the prevalence of asthma reported among inner city socioeconomically disadvantaged children. The prevalence in the control school was 7.3, which is quite close to the overall rate reported for Iowa of 6.7. Also, air pollution is other major source of problems, with up to 40 percent of CAFO's workers experiencing serious respiratory illness including chronic bronchitis, organic dust toxin syndrome, and sinusitis. So clearly, <laughs> I should have. <laughs> I had so much more stuff to talk about. You got like 30 minutes. You should have stepped on that. No. I should have.